At the moment in a plastic hullabaloo, lots of single-use plastic like straws are being removed from restaurants and shops to try and reduce the impact that plastic pollution is having on our planet. But there are still lots of single-use plastics that we use all the time, like food and drinks packaging when we're out on the go. Lots of brands have started talking about how they're making stuff like this out of 100% recycled plastic, but what does that really mean and where does the plastic come from? Today we're here at Ribena, who have been making their bottles out of 100% recycled plastic for the last 10 years to find out how they do it and how easy it is to use recycled plastic. So first up, I wanted to talk through the difference between recycled and recyclable, which you'll see a lot on packaging. Recycled means that the thing that you're drinking or eating out of has some percentage of something that's been used before, whereas recyclable means that you can turn it into something new if you put it in the right place. The plastic that's used to make Ribena bottles comes mostly from deposit return schemes in the Netherlands, which is where we're off to to find out how it gets made. We made a whole other video on deposit return schemes, so go and check that out on the channel to find out more. So the bottles get collected from a deposit return scheme and then they get bought here to a factory in the Netherlands where they get turned into a brand new bottle. I'm here with Mark, who works at the business, to talk a little bit about how we get from uh, a recycled bottle into something brand new. Um, so how does it start? Start with the collection of uh, the bottles. Um, uh, the bottles are then going into the washing and sorting plant where we first sort the bottles with sorting machines. Then we go to uh, granulation to make flakes. We uh, separate and wash the flakes uh, with hot water. A lot of rinsing. We take out labels, we take out the caps. And then these flakes are transferred to the next uh, stage where we make chips with extrusion. We put in the flakes and we add some dye uh, with it mm -hmm. to make a constant uh, color. You heat it up, up to an, uh, 260 degrees, then you melt uh, the flake, and then the chip is ready to go to the next uh, stage. And this is, so in the factory we saw the kind of rivers of the yeah. blue plastic, so that's the hot rivers plastic. rivers of blue plastic, <laughs> hot plastic, that is cut up, uh, later into small, uh, small pellets. Okay. And from these pellets we go to a big vacuum reactor, and the reactor will take out on a deep vacuum and high temperature, over a long time, turning around, taking out the contaminants. Uh, and then this material is food safe to go to the next uh, stage, and that's a preform. So this is like a big tumble dryer? It's a big tumble dryer, yeah. Just on a deep heating vacuum. it up? Heating it? up on the vacuum, moving around. And that means that it's safe to then put food and drink inside of it? Yeah, it's absolutely safe. From there we go to a preform, and the preform is the, the last stage before it uh, is blown to a bottle at the, the filling plant. Amazing! Yeah. So quite a long process. A lot of steps, <laughs> yes. So from a bottle going into a deposit return scheme yeah. to being a brand new bottle, do you know how long that process takes? So maybe it's about four to five weeks and there's a new bottle. And you get a brand new bottle? Yeah. That's amazing. Uh, so what is the benefit of using a recycled plastic over a virgin material when you're making a bottle like this? Okay, there are a few uh, benefits. First of all, you don't need oil-based materials. So we are saving uh, raw material from this planet. Mm -hmm. Secondly, if you look to the total process, the uh, carbon footprint is much less using, using uh, RPET, uh, recycled polyester, instead of virgin material. Even though you're going through all of these different processes? Yeah, even if you go all the processes. Yeah. It's still a lower carbon footprint yeah, than buying it is. brand new? Yeah. And how important is it that to get a bottle like this, the material at the start is good? Yeah, the, the start is really uh, critical. Um, the more contamination at the start, the more contamination at the end. Mm -hmm. So it's really important that we try to select these bottles preferable from a deposit system mm -hmm. because they are quite uh, clean and select the best out of uh, the market to achieve a high end uh, quality of, uh, of bottle. So what would you say to people who are afraid to <laughs> take the step and start using recycled plastic? Just start to use 25% and if you like it you go to 50% and then you try to increase it uh, further. Uh, 72 million tons of polyester were a year put on this planet, made from oil, and we only recycle 9% in total. So you need to stop the linear economy, you need to use another source of raw material that's already there. Mm -hmm. That's what you need to do. So what can we do at home to make sure that the plastic that we're using gets recycled in places like this? First of all, collect it at home and bring it to the proper recycling point. We are here in the Ribena factory in Colford with Louise and you are the brand manager for Ribena. All of our bottles on Ribena are made from 100% recycled plastic mm -hmm. and we've been doing that since 2007. So a long time. Yes. <laughs> 
And how many other brands in the space are using 100% recycled plastic? So more and more are starting to move there or using at least a percentage of recycled plastic within their products. But Ribena was actually the first soft drinks brand um, to move to 100% recycled plastic and it's something that we're very proud of. So why do you use plastic from the Netherlands to produce your bottles at the moment? Because um, they have a more advanced um, recycling process which makes the availability of 100% recycled plastic easier for us. And if we had something like a deposit return scheme in the UK that meant that we had better quality recycling, would that make it easier for processes like this to be bought to the UK? Yes, I think it would. I think we'd see more plastic going into the recycling process as well as um, separating what plastic can be recycled and how it can be recycled. Mm -hmm. The other big debate that's come up recently has been around straws. And I know you guys have like straws on your Ribena carton. So is there anything that consumers can do at home to make sure that their straws on that get recycled? Yes, definitely. Something that probably a lot of consumers are not aware of is that you can actually, if you push the straw back into your carton, the whole thing can be recycled together. So that's something that we're including on our Ribena cartons as well as using our social platforms to educate people on this. At the moment, not a lot of the drinks bottles that we use when we're out and about actually get recycled in the UK. So what can we do to make sure that something that we've used has the opportunity to be turned into something new? If you're using plastic when you're out and about and you can't find a recycling bin anywhere, then just hold on to it till you get home where you can recycle it. How we use and consume plastic in the future is going to become a massive issue for businesses like Ribena, but also for people like you and me who are buying their products. So it's really interesting to see how plastics are being used and being kept in the system. Would you like to see more of your favourite brands using 100% recycled plastic or to see more processes like this move to the UK? Let me know what you think in the comments. I would love to hear it. Thank you so much for watching. That's the end of the episode. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel so you can be the first to catch up on all the latest Hubbub videos. Yeah.